Carlos Alcaraz versus Holger Runa is the fourth quarter final for the men's Wimbledon for 2023. Both guys have battled to get to this stage. Runa entered the tournament as the number six seed and will take on the wild card Lofhagen in the first round. But this is no problem getting through in straights. 7 6 6 3 6 2. In the second round, he take on Bayana. And again, this is no problem for Runa. Getting through in straights, 6-3-7-6-6-4. In the third round, he take on the 31st seed for Kina. We'd had an absolute epic battle against in Madrid. And after dropping two of the first three sets and saving match points, Runa would fight back to win 6-3-4-6-3-6-6-4-7-6 to advance to the fourth round. In the fourth round, he'd take on the 21st seed, Dimitrov, who had just taken out the informed Tiafo in the previous round. And after a close couple of sets, Runa would eventually get through in four, 3-6-7-6-7-6-6-3, to advance to his first Wimbledon quarterfinal. Alcaraz started the tournament off as the number one seed and would take on Shardy in the first round. This is no problem for Alcaraz, getting through in straights, 6-love, 6-2-7-5. In the second round, he'd take on Muller. And again, no problem for Alcaraz, getting through in straights, 6-4-7-6-6-3. In the third round, he'd take on the 25th seed, Gary, who'd been having such a good year on the clay and learning to play on the grass. And after a couple of close sets, Alcaraz would eventually prevail in four, 6-3, 6-7, 6-3, In the fourth round, he'd take on Berrettini, the former Wimbledon finalist who had just taken out Diminor and Zverev along the way. And after dropping the first set, Alcaraz would fight back to win, 3-6, 6-3, 6-3, 6-3, 6-3, to advance to another Grand Slam quarterfinal. These were played twice before, one of those matches being at the next-gen final, but one of them actually being in Paris last year, with Runa getting the win, unfortunately, Alcaraz retiring in the second set, so we haven't really seen them play a proper match before. And of course, a quarterfinal of a slam doesn't get much bigger than that. If Runa's going to win this one, he needs to win the points quick. He can't drag out these rallies because Runa has played a lot more tennis than Alcaraz this week, especially with that five set against Fakina. So he needs to make sure he plays the points quick and also attack the net a lot. If Alcaraz is going to win this one, he needs to get off to a good start and try and put the pressure on Runa. He's probably going to be physically better than Runa the match as the longer the match goes on, but I think he needs to be aggressive and take over that baseline. These guys play very similar styles. So be a battle of that baseline and also a battle of variety. This is such a fun matchup and finally we get to see these guys. Let's hope that we get to see a completed match as well between these two 20 year olds, these next generation guys. I'm going to go with Alcaraz to win this one in four sets. I think Runa's fitness levels are a big question mark for me and I think Alcaraz is just learning more and more how to play on grass. He's undefeated on grass this season and he's played so well against Berrettini. I think he would do something against Runa like that but let me know down in the comments below who's making the semi-finals.